Hello dear friend, my name is Dmitry Samukin and I work in National Research Nuclear University of Mifi and I take a position head of the department of the nuclear physics and engineering and today we will talk about the contribution of the Russian nuclear industry to sustainable development and uh, first of all I want to present it to all of you at my university, International Research uh, Nuclear University of Mifi it's a leader of the Russian uh, nuclear education process and we teach training, we training specialists in the nuclear sphere and not only nuclear sphere of course and we will talk about uh, other our education direction a little bit later. It's our university was founded in 1982 and uh, today we um, focus on the science and engineering uh, education and uh, research questions and uh, uh, Amifi is recognized leader and the next uh, advantages and background direction and the nuclear research and engineering, laser and plasma technologies, uh, microwave, uh, nanoelectronics uh, and others. And nowadays in our university include uh, more than 10 different institutes and you may see this institute, this slides and uh, three main uh, campuses it's uh, Moscow campus, Obninsk and our uh, abroad campus in Uzbekistan and uh, nowadays we uh, teach more than 10,000 uh, uh, students and uh, most of part of them uh, study in uh, uh, Moscow department it's about uh, 6,000 uh, uh, students and uh, Obninsk uh, department uh, about 2,500 students and uh, uh, now they, uh, we have uh, more than uh, 1,500 international students uh, from uh, different countries uh, and uh, Turkey, uh, Rwanda, Bolivia, Egypt uh, and uh, Vietnam, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and others and uh, you may see the spread of uh, international students and other, other students uh, and pre faculty it's uh, about 8% and more than 60% and uh, graduate students and about 26% graduate students, master degree students and 5% uh, PhD students and uh, each year we increase the uh, number of international students uh, for our university and we invite the students uh, for all country, all the world, and uh, now they uh, in our university uh, study um, international students uh, from uh, 67 uh, different countries, and uh, um, uh, we uh, we provide and undergraduate programs and uh, undergraduate programs and. Uh, of course, first of all, I will talk about uh, my institute, Institute uh, uh, Physics and Engineering, and uh, you may see in the, our program uh, focus on uh, two big uh, direction. It's uh, one of direction. It's uh, uh, we prepare a specialist uh, who plan uh, operation. Uh, research equipment, uh, nuclear power plants, uh, research reactors and uh, different engineering facilities and the other big part of our specialty orientation for preparing specialists uh, for um, design support and 
the research complex uh, and others and uh, our graduate program and, uh, we may see we realized uh, this program in Russian language in English language and first of all it's uh, nuclear physics and technologies uh, nuclear power engineering and thermal physics and other our master programs and uh, we organized summer school years and uh, this year, next year, uh, our main uh, summer school is uh, non-destructive testing and uh, technological diagnostics of nuclear industry and uh, physics and um, technological in the life cycle and radiation control and radiation monitoring and others. And uh, we invite all uh, Russian and international students uh, for the summer school mm, and uh, uh, every our summer school organized in English language and of course uh, we have a good uh, campuses and this slide you may see in the uh, Moscow dormitory and uh, Obninsk dormitory complex and each of them uh, uh, location about uh, 50 minutes uh, walk uh, from uh, Demeter to uh, main education building and the research complex and you may see in the each uh, building should campuses include uh, Wi-Fi, gym, uh, cafeteria and uh, good apartment type for two for personal room and others and all for our students and the main part of our lecture uh, will talk about contribution of the Russian nuclear industry to sustainable development and I divided uh, our lecture uh, five part and the First part is global energy and uh, Russian's role, and uh, part number two and more on technological generation three plus, and the part three the cost of electricity, and part number four we will talk about the nuclear power and the renewable source of generation and compare it uh, between the nuclear power and the renewable source of energy and the last uh, part number five uh, we'll talk about future of the nuclear technologies and the nuclear power plants like uh, one of part of them and uh, first of all a uh, little bit information about the global energy and uh, you must see in the world uh, consumption of the primal energy and uh, this is uh, the oil and the gas and the hydro uh, bioenergy coil and you may see in the nuclear power plants energy from nuclear power plants that took only five and a half percent uh, in uh, world, world consumptions of course I think uh, you uh, uh, all hear about uh, the greenhouse effect if uh, we want to save our planets, of course, we must increase the uh, number of the nuclear power plants because uh, nuclear power plants and uh, steel energy and other, my colleague uh, give a lecture about uh, how many um, waste produce in the nuclear power plants and how many waste produce dual and uh, dual exploitation uh, coil for primal energy and the bioenergy and the hydro and others and of course and the nuclear power plants took in a first position uh, dealt with the protection in our planet and of course if uh, we want uh, to save our plants we must increase the number of uh, nuclear power plants and the less a number of the uh, thermal power plants and uh, hydro power station and power plants using alternative energy source and, and 
this slide uh, have information um, about uh, the different uh, countries and uh, which uh, primal source of energy use for um, uh, producing the electrical energy and uh, you may see in the uh, red uh, line it's uh, thermal power plants and uh, gray it's a small part it's uh, nuclear power plants and yellow hydropower station and green other part of the source of energy and uh, Russia's role in the global energy and uh, the human sea and the Russian uh, share on the global energy export in the first place in the world and the uh, second place export of oil and first place export of gas and third place export of oil and the Russians uh, share on the global energy production and the third place in the world production and the uh, first to second place production oil and the second place uh, gas and the sixth place in the coil and the place number five on the production electricity and uh, you may see in the uh, Russian role and the, and the share of uh, GDP the, if we uh, compare it with the global GDP and the share of the tax revenue and the share of the export and the share of uh, investment and the number of employers and the fuel and energy complex. So not so huge number, it's only a 3.7%. And the uh, part number two we'll talk about modern technological and genera uh, generation 3 plus what is mean generation 3, 3, uh, 3 plus and uh, it's maybe you know and the first uh, nuclear power plants uh, was construction in uh, USA at the time it's not a Russian Federation now and the first nuclear power plants start to work in 1954 and uh, was construction in Obinsk it's about uh, 100 kilometers and Obinsk, uh, that's uh, my um, city, I, I live in Obinsk, Obinsk location on the 100 kilometers from Moscow, uh, about uh, one hour's drive by car and uh, now they, the first nuclear power plants work like a museum, museum. Uh, but it was a just nuclear power plants and for example if uh, you open uh, a website the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, you see the, uh, our nuclear power plants have a first place and uh, was in generation uh, 1 and generation 2 it uh, was a commercial power reactors and light water pressurized water reactor boiling water reactor a Canadian can do can do reactor and uh, our our project it's uh, video and the Airbnb and uh, we will talk about we will play with you later and the generation number three nuclear reactors is in the slide and uh, start construction uh, from uh, 1918 uh, to our days and um, main fleet of uh, nuclear power plants and how they have a generation free plus nuclear reactors and uh, in our day uh, generation free plus nuclear reactors and uh, first country uh, for start exploitation uh, nuclear reactor generation free plus uh, in Russia Federation and uh, three years ago we start exploitation first uh, generation 3 plus uh, nuclear reactors this project uh, we were 1200 in uh, no Voronezh and uh, about uh, one year ago we have a physical start and uh, next uh, it's energy start uh, uh, we were 1200 in 
Lindros chemical power plants and uh, now the reconstruction of uh, this type of the reactor with this project uh, in rush duration and abroad and now the um, reconstruction uh, more than uh, 40 units and uh, one times and uh, generation uh, number four uh, we'll talk about uh, this generation later in in our in our presentation and uh, you may see in the four uh, main goal of uh, generation number four it's uh, high ecological and the safety uh, minimizing waste uh, proliferation and uh, resistance of course and uh, a few information about uh, nuclear power plants and uh, nuclear units in our day according uh, information from international atomic energy organization and uh, nowadays uh, of the world exploitation about uh, five uh, uh, hundred and half nuclear power units and the total electricity capacity is about uh, 400 uh, gigawatt and uh, now the construction um, uh, more than five more than 50 nuclear power units and uh, total electricity capacity more than 50 gigawatt and uh, now they all uh, nuclear reactor have a uh, exploitation exploitation period of time about uh, 20,000 reactor years so long long period of time and uh, a few words about uh, the design a project and our main project will be uh, 1200 and of course uh, a VBR technology for so long long uh, construction uh, historically uh, historically line and from uh, generation number one generation number two three and now the generation uh, three plus and uh, of course in the each uh, stage uh, and each, each project uh, uh, increase uh, safety and uh, uh, protection and uh, the number of the barriers and increase understandable uh, about uh, how uh, exploitation nuclear power plants uh, without accident and now the uh, VDR uh, technology have uh, more than one thousand and half year of some operation life without accident it's an incredible number of the year and the, for example and the Airbnb in boiling water reactor and pressurized water reactor or whatever accident in the previous year, previous year and uh, we know this accident in the Prima Island in the 1979 it was uh, a boiling water reactor accident and the next in 1986 since Airbnb project uh, accident and in 2011 uh, accident in Fukushima Daiichi, it uh, was in the uh, pressurized water reactor. Next, and uh, you may see in this slide and the main parameters of uh, the year uh, 1200 and uh, normal thermal power of the reactor more than 3000 and the coefficient usage of the set of the power. And next, next. Uh, parameters and uh, uh, period between uh, reloading uh, fuel ascenders and for example in the year 1000 and previous time have a, um, uh, a duration without refueling fuel ascenders uh, during one year 12 months and uh, now they in the year 
1200 uh, have a uh, overall voting period uh, um, about 18 or 28 uh, months it's so huge huge parameters and uh, uh, you cycle and, uh, time when a fuel stay inside uh, the nuclear reactor or inside the core it's four and five years and the period of uh, exploitation time is about uh, 60 years and uh, this slide includes on the main equipment and the Riviera 1200 you may see on the reactor one reactor uh, one pressurizer, four steam generators, four main circulation pumps, and emergency co cooling systems, and bubbler here, so main equipment. And uh, we have uh, other lecture including information about main equipment and power plants. And this slide includes uh, analogies and review 1200 uh, from other countries, the Japanese and the USA, and the Chinese, and the USA project, for example, Western Gauss and AP1000 and ASBWR and the PBMR project. And you may find this informa information about this nuclear power plants. And I think. Next, uh, use number three, the cost of electricity and uh, I have only two slides uh, about the cost of electricity generation and uh, you may see cost of uh, electricity generation in uh, Russia Federation and the thermal power, and the hydropower station and the nuclear power plants, wind power and the solar power and uh, you may see the minimum and the maximum cost and uh, different uh, region in Russia Federation and uh, you may see and uh, nuclear power electricity cost compared with uh, cost of uh, electricity in, from other source of energy thermal, hydro and wind power and solar power and uh, this slide includes information about cost of electricity uh, different countries and the world and, uh, you may see in the uh, high cost of electricity in Italy in the 21 UC dollars per 1 kilowatt and for example the Russia Federation uh, it's about 9 USA dollars per 1 kilowatt and uh, you may found your country for example and the compared cost of electricity uh, other countries and the next uh, topic it's about nuclear power and the renewable uh, source of energy and uh, the, our previous slide will talk about the nuclear energy and uh, our center in the 21st century, of course, it's so important question of safety and uh, economy uh, question and uh, non, non proliferation of radioactive material not to spread around around the world and the uh, um, ecology question, of course, uh, during the realized uh, this project. Uh, we um, increase increase parameters so ecology, no proliferation, and safety, and so on, so on. And uh, if we talk about uh, biofuels and uh, next uh, uh, source of energy, we will match plus and minus parameters. It shows the technology. And of course, plus it's uh, a production of but not uh, it's using the carbon dioxide and uh, various fuel production of the source. 
and uh, increased number of uh, the carbon dioxide during this rotation. It's a minus, of course, it's a, uh, fossil fuels and use of production of the biofuels. And uh, next, uh, wind energy, and of course, and the plus, it's a ecologically safe source and unlimited uh, source, but minus and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, without uh, win we not uh, may use uh, this equipment for example and uh, five years ago in uh, England uh, during the six month uh, stay absolutely without win it's a smoke around and us and all equipment uh, like this stay and do not produce electricity it's also a bad situation uh, next minus it's a uh, high noises level and uh, low physical security and the large area uh, needed for this equipment and uh, mm, uh, so difficult question uh, producing the blades uh, for this equipment and next uh, source of energy the solar power and of course plus it's ecologically safe source and unlimited raw source but we may uh, produce uh, the biggest part of uh, the energy if uh, we location this solar solar panels uh, in north and north region in our planet only that region where we uh, have a, um, a biggest part of the solar during the one year and of course it's a high cost of the solar cells so big big cost and uh, uh, these uh, surfaces must be cleaned from pollution uh, from dust and others and the cooling system requirement of course increased temperature and we must uh, deliver it, uh, the mm, uh, high, high temperature from these cells and the service is uh, life uh, elements limited of course uh, photocells contains uh, Poisonal substances and low low efficiency, low efficiency. Hydropower plus it's ecologically safe source and low cost of energy production, but minus floating and so big, big area and agricultural lands and uh, uh, population area where we make construction building and believe the people and the others and uh, different uh, climatic effects and uh, water disbalance in this area and uh, a danger of the major disasters of course and we have been reviewing all, all these disasters in our near past time and uh, thermal energy and ecologically safe source and low cost of energy production but uh, it's uh, usually we location this uh, source of energy in the seismic region in our planet and uh, uh, unavailable the building in the most region in our planet and uh, non-established ecological uh, consequences and uh, we don't understand clearly what happened in this uh, source of energy after 40 years, 60 years exploitation and research. And the uh, last slide that's uh, uh, hydrogen energy and uh, you may see the many plus and it's ecologically safe source and high efficiency and the requirement for many industrial production only one minus it's uh, high explosiveness and of course we may use and uh, gas mm, but mm, uh, 
cost of gas is so change during uh, the years and of course if uh, we have a um, so biggest change of uh, cost of uh, the uh, hydrogen on other natural gas uh, we will must uh, change the cost of uh, electricity and our um, last topic uh, built with uh, question of the future of the nuclear power and of course if we talk about the nuclear power plants uh, we uh, must talk about uh, uh, few elements and the uh, main few nuclear and uh, uranium, uranium 235. Uh, it's maybe you know it's uh, our main uh, element uh, which we used in the thermal reactor. And of course, if uh, we will use only one uranium uh, 235. Uh, we may exploitation nuclear reactor only during the, the 40 years, approximately, approximately 40 years. And uh, we must organize in the close fuel, fuel cycle. And you may see in the, the mining uh, nuclear material and the chemistry enrichment and producing the fuel assemblers and use fuel assemblers. And the, nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor next to produce electricity and this electricity go to the city factories and others. And the next uh, we uh, after um, reloading fuel assemblers uh, we go with fuel assemblers uh, for fuel um, retreatment and producing the MOX fuel uh, MOX fuel include uranium and plutonium, the mix oxygen fuel, and uh, we uh, go we, uh, back to these uh, fuel elements to our nuclear reactor, not only thermal reactor. Uh, we must include in the reactor operation fast neutrons like. Uh, and B reactor. It's maybe you know in our day on the Russian Federation exploitation to nuclear units and the nuclear unit and B 600 and B 800 are operation fast neutrons and of course producing electricity and uh, producing the uh, new, new fuel new fuel for close fuel cycle. And of course, we have a, a waste, a small part of waste, and we must organize in the storage of the waste the disposal. And uh, this slide information about other, our project in the small modular uh, reactors, and the Rosatom project, and the uh, Ukadem Africanta in Nizhny uh, Novgorod. Leader and so one of uh, the uh, our national leader and uh, all the world leader producing the um, uh, new nuclear uh, equipment and the new uh, nuclear power plants and uh, it's a small modular so it's uh, our near future and uh, you may see the main parameter and uh, uh, thermal power and efficiency and the steam produce and the service of uh, life about uh, 60 years and uh, reactor lifetime uh, and others so, so a good, good project and our next project and small modular reactor uh, lead bismuth fast reactor using the lead bismuth like uh, coolant without moderator and uh, you must see thermal power 218 and efficiency and the source life and uh, time between uh, uh, changing the fuel assemblers and so good good parameters and uh, for example 
uh, after exploitation, uh, for example, uh, reactor VVA 1000 uh, being delivered and the core and delivered reactor vessel and the installation of the six uh, motors and little bit motor reactors and uh, you may uh, increase time of exploitation equipment uh, and uh, reactor and, uh, uh, nuclear power plants uh, because other equipment and turbine, steam generator and other equipment we may uh, fix and uh, increase parameter of this equipment and uh, we may increase time of operation one of uh, nuclear power plants. I I'm not talk about increased time of operation uh, reactor unit and core. I will talk about all nuclear power plants. And uh, my uh, next slide about ITER project. It's uh, our uh, next next uh, future. And uh, mm, uh, thermonuclear. And after maybe after one hundred years, uh, uh, we will produce the electricity. Uh, with uh, primary source of uh, thermal energy and of course uh, we will be much higher than nuclear power plants power but it's our future and the uh, last slide about the nuclear space aging and the nuclear space technologies maybe you hear about five years ago Mm, uh, we not start the last and uh, uh, scientific work and uh, research work and uh, real engineering work we dealt with in the space technology and you may see in the slide and uh, uh, main purposes and I think it's uh, a near future we will organize uh, the delivered cargo to the moon and uh, our spaceship uh, will use and, uh, nuclear nuclear energy source on the board and deliver it to the uh, a different cargo to the Mars and uh, maybe you hear um, uh, if we will use and, uh, uh, nuclear agent, nuclear agent uh, in the space. Uh, we must spend only six uh, weeks uh, fly from our planet uh, to uh, to Mars. And in case I think uh, we will increase in the near future our space tourism, uh, development of the space production and uh, conduction of different experiment and. Uh, services uh, repair and work uh, uh, near our planet it's maybe deep space i think that's all thank you for your attention and uh, see you later bye